guys, so today we're doing a quick and simple hair and makeup tutorial. This was requested so much when I had worn this exact outfit and look when I came home from a wedding one night and I filmed a video for you guys. I thought I would just show you a really simple, elegant look that you could wear for a date night, you could wear it to a wedding. The makeup is very simple, very casual, um, but the hair can be dressed up very nicely if you wish for it. So if you like this look, just stay tuned. First we're taking the Clinique palette. We're taking the base color, which is the lightest color in the palette. It's called Pink Slate. We're taking a large fluff brush from Sigma and patting that all over our eyes, up toward the brow bone and the inner corner and out toward the crease. This is just going to give us a clean slate for the rest of the look. Next we're taking the Naked palette. Um, on a tapered blending brush, I'm mixing Naked and the color Buck. And this is going to go throughout our crease. This is just going to darken up the crease just a tad, give it a little bit of depth and dimension so that the color is not just a singular color all over the lid. Now I'm taking the second darkest color, the contour color, which is called Beach Plum from the Clinique palette and I'm mixing that in the outer corners on both of my eyes. That's going to also just give it a little bit more extra depth and a little bit of purple color. Now I'm taking a short shader and tapping that purple color on my lower lash line. Taking Maybelline Light Express Eyeliner in the color Ebony Black, I'm tight lining my upper inner eyelid rim. I'm also going to line my lower inner rim to, just to give it a more of a smoky effect. Next I'm taking my L'Oreal Paris Linear Intense Carbon Black and doing a thin winged out eyeliner. Next I'm taking the Shu Yurimura Eyelash Curler and curling my eyelashes. For mascara, I'm wearing the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Carbon Black in the color Carbon Black. This is my all-time favorite mascara. I love what it does for my lashes. It gives that dramatic effect with being casual at the same time. For lips, I'm wearing the L'Oreal Infallible Unending Kiss Lipstick with the MAC Cream Sheen Glass in the color Going Casual right on top. This is a finished look. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Very simple, classic, elegant look for any event. Next for hair. First, take down your hair, brush out all the knots and everything like that. Next, I'm taking the Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum in the palm of my hand, a good amount. Now I'm going to evenly distribute it through my entire hair. Obviously, if you have shorter hair, you won't need as much as me. Now I'm going to take a rat tail comb and just make an even part on each side. We're going to start the French braid in the front. As much hair as you want in the front is going to be fine. I prefer a more hefty amount because of the amount of hair that I have. Make sure you tie back the rest of your hair so that it doesn't get caught. Smooth out the front and apply some hairspray. This is going to make the French braid a lot more even and secure up front. Now I don't go into how to exactly to do a French braid because I learned on YouTube, I know you guys can learn on YouTube, maybe I'll make a video of that in the future. But what you're going to do here is just do a half French braid going down the front of your hair, moving it toward the back. When you're done it should look something like this and you're just going to braid all the way down, again going toward the back so that you don't have any bumps. Make sure you uh, secure it with an elastic, let down the rest of your hair. And now you're going to smooth it all back, pull down a little bit of a bang if you have it, just to give it a little bit more of an elegant look, like I said. You're going to tie your entire hair on the side into a side ponytail, fix your little bang, mine curls because I have curly hair. You're going to apply some hairspray so that you make sure that all of your bumps and everything are secure, your braid is secure. Now what you're going to do is take the tail end of the braid and wrap it around the ponytail, kind of to hide the elastic, but also to have the... Uh, French braid go somewhere. Secure it with the bobby pin to make sure that it doesn't fall out. Now you're just going to brush out your hair because you're going to start the twisting process. Take a section of hair, probably about a half inch I would say. Make sure you twist it all the way around really tight. Keep it secure the entire way down. Next what you're going to do after you've twist about halfway. Now if your hair is shorter this won't apply to you because this will be all that you're twisting, but for my hair I have to do it in two sections. You're going to twist it, twist it as tight as you can, stick it up to the part of the hair that you want and secure it with the bobby pin. What you'll be left with is part of the hair that's sticking out, you're going to continue to twist that and then again, same thing, pin it up to the rest of your hair so that it's completely secure. 
For this look, you will definitely need lots of hairspray and bobby pins. You're going to re repeat this process until you have all of your ponytail, all of your side ponytail up into the bun. Here's a, a side uh, view from the back. Just going to twist it up, pin it, and for me, I kind of just feel around. I don't really have a rhyme or rhythm for the way that I do it. I just continue to twist all of the hair, pin it where I think it belongs, and then put some more bobby pins to secure it. Make sure you apply lots and lots of hairspray so that it holds the whole night. Here's the finished hair look. Like I said, very classy, elegant, super cute for an everyday basis, but then at the same time, it can be super dressed up for a wedding, a date night, anything like that, formal, prom, um, homecoming, a uh, Christmas party, anything you guys want it, that it can be done. As you can see, it's very, very cute. I have got so many compliments on this look, including from you guys and in real life, and it's super simple, it takes about 15 minutes. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. This is the outfit that I'm wearing to the wedding that I attended that night. Yes, I'm wearing heels and the same dress and the same outfit. Super casual, super cute. Like I said, you can wear it with jeans and a t-shirt or a dress. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know what you think down below. And I'll see you later. Bye.